Okay, um, so this is another documentary, very different though. Um, it's called Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitch, uh, colon, A History of Folk Horror. Um, so this film is directed by, I'm going to say her name incorrectly, I know it, uh, but it's uh, Kirla Janice. Um, and the thing that's cool about her as a person in general is that she is or she was a part of this organization called she was the founder of this organization called the Miskatonic Institute of Horror Studies, which has uh, branches in New York, Los Angeles, and London. And what they they do the classes online now, but they used to have classes that you could go to and see these seminars about like different aspects of the genre of horror. Like there was one that I went to recently that was about. T horror movies like TV movies from the 70s um, and for example so she and she's written a book called uh, Psychotic Women which is about women in horror so she knows a lot about the genre of horror and it's she's probably the perfect person to make this documentary because it is the most in-depth documentary about anything related to horror I have ever seen. Like it is, um, which it could be a positive or a negative depending upon who's watching it. This movie is like three hours and 15 minutes long. So <laughs> it is, it talks about anything that you could possibly imagine related to folk horror, which is like, um, movies like The Wicker Man or Midsummer, The Witch, stuff like that, which is funny that I talked about The Feast earlier because it's kind of in the same genre. Um, but uh, she interviews like all sorts of experts, like journalists, filmmakers, um, people who've written uh, histories about like folk horror literature like people somebody who's like an expert on um hp lovecraft like pe people just all sorts of people that know like everything about folk horror i came away from this movie with a list of i have this composition notebook right here and it has uh five pages full of movies that i have never seen before wow. that are uh, folk horror movies that I want to see now after watching this movie. There's like so many clips of so many films from around the world, stuff I've never heard of, um, which like, not saying that I've heard of everything or whatever, but like I have heard of a lot of stuff when it comes to horror. So I was really surprised like at the wealth of content, oh, I don't want to say content, but the wealth of uh, uh, films that are out there that, you know, explore this really cool uh subgenre of horror yeah so Larry, i have a question about the documentary um in, in recent years movies like it follows the baba duke lights out things like that are uh, have been called uh parable horror and they obviously take a lot of cues from folk horror in terms of how they use their settings and locations does the movie delve into those parallels at all, or is it strictly looking at like the history of? No. What um what's cool about it is that it does it actually mentions the Baba Duke. It kind of like talks about um the it talks about the past, present, and future of the genre and like what's happening now in um cinema, like whether independent or mainstream and what they're doing to make it like more of a current um, relevant thing rather than just being like, oh, this is a movie about uh, some witch in the woods or whatever. Like, um, so, I mean, did that answer your question or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious about, um, you know, we're obviously an independent film outlet. Um, you know, to me, there's, there's the big studio horror films, you know, the, the ones that, you know, are, I think are there just for the sake of, you know, creating the thrill, creating the scare. Um, and then I, I think there's everything else that, uh, you know, and I, I feel like that maybe that's what this is talking about, or is it kind of all inclusive in terms of the entire It's all inclusive. It goes from like 
you know, let's think of what the most probably like you know midsummer, to, it, it, which is like a which could be some people consider that an independent film, which I think is hilarious. But like it, um, it goes from like the bigger stuff to stuff to films that were made on like very low budget and i think that the good thing about folk horror is that you can make a folk horror movie with a low budget because you can just go out in the woods like blair witch project which oddly enough they didn't talk about that movie in this film at all which is bizarre to me but i feel like you know that movie was made with very little money it was steady you know a handheld camera was like revolutionary and um was you know it came out of nowhere so i it does talk about like all strata or um of film like it's not just like the big guys it's the stuff that is really obscure that someone you know spent like fifty thousand dollars to make and, and mm. i think that they um kira la janice and like the people that are involved are like big champions of um independent film so yeah. I think it's so interesting how this horror folk genre um, doesn't necessarily attract. Um, it's not all about loving horror for, because it's a similar, it's the category that the film I reviewed for slam dance that Matthew Wade made. Uh, a, 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 oh God, I always screw up this title. It's a, a black, a yawn. It's, a, it's based on the, the black rift. In the yeah. The oh, black yeah. rift begins to yawn is based on a, P.T. Lovecraft story. Um, oh, wow. but, but my fascination with the work of Matthew Wade and similar pieces is that I love the artistic ability that these filmmakers have to yeah. reveal these stories or the impression of these like horror folklores. And I honestly am not, a, I, I do love horror. It's just, I don't know enough about it. And I yeah. find like you come to it from all these different angles and it's super cool that someone's sort of cataloging it or following it or it's like a new yeah. a brand new genre almost that no one yeah. talks about the, well like what's cool about it is that it's divided into six different parts so there's part where it talks about witches and there's a part where it talks about like the occult and then there's uh, an international section so like um you do it's really like a class it's like going to one of the miskatonic yeah classes um which i recommend anybody that's watching if you you can do them online now so if, i would recommend that highly for anybody who's cool. like into the education aspect of this whole world of movies um and that's i love learning about movies that i've never seen before and so that's why i like adored this movie and um i gave it a 10 and i think that like anybody who's as much of a well there's people who are way more like crazy about horror than i am but like people who love horror would love this movie so yeah do you think it'd be a good primer for someone not into horror or a uh... Yes, um actually because it, I mean it depends on if you like if you were absolutely abhorrent to the idea of it then no because like it's not going to change your fundamental ideal about it but if you're like on the fence on whether or not you're going to like a this genre of film, this might convince you that you would want to watch these movies.